Yesterday was an insane day, guys. There was so much that the Sims team showed us, not just on the Sims Summit livestream getting an update on infants with an actual release date of March 14th, but a teaser for an expansion pack that we're going to hear more about tomorrow, February 2nd. But there are some additions that I want to talk about here today in this video to kind of build on what I covered yesterday. This video is going to be a mix bag. It's going to include different topics, different things, but I'm going to try to squish everything into this video because there are some other videos that I want to make kind of going deeper into Project Renee with the newer information that we received on yesterday's stream. So yesterday we received a brand new free patch update, which added a lot to the game. And yeah, simmers are a little disappointed. I mean, we had a patch aligned up perfectly with a stream. There was so much infants hype and speculation that a lot of people put two and two together to assume that that meant we were getting infants even yesterday before the stream and a couple days before that. I feel like if they were truly coming yesterday, they would have said more and milked it out a lot more than they did. And now that we actually have a date, they're probably going to do a lot more teasing now. But in yesterday's update, we received a handful of base game bug fixes and also for other packs, there were accessibility and UI improvements for console. Medical wearables were added, but unfortunately, they're not perfect. And Simmers had a lot to say about the binders in particular. I'll get into that more in a second, but there was another fix that was included with yesterday's patch that was actually not mentioned yesterday in the patch notes. So we're going to jump into that right here first. This coming from Sim Guru Nick on Twitter tweeted at 1.55 p.m. yesterday. This wasn't listed in today's patch notes, but I'm pretty sure it's fixed in today's patch. Is anyone still experiencing this issue? Thanks so much. This issue going out directly to Mac OS Ventura users. The only way that these players could quit out of their game is if they force quit the game and didn't close out of it like normal. But thankfully, this was included in the latest patch. I don't know if they've updated the patch notes since or if they plan to update the patch notes. But for those of you that play on Mac OS Ventura, this was included. So good news for you. For whatever the expansion pack is coming, which they teased yesterday on the stream for only a couple of seconds, I'm thinking it's something family related, something generations related. We now have a time for the video that is scheduled to premiere tomorrow, February 2nd, and it is likely an announcement trailer. So this is super, super exciting. This info coming exclusively from Somatically on Twitter. The trailer for the next expansion pack is two minutes and 15 seconds long. I guess that's a little on the short side. The high school year's official trailer was three minutes and 15 seconds, so a whole minute shorter, so it's probably going to be more fast paced. This definitely leads me to believe that we might be getting another trailer sometime in the future. I know that we used to receive multiple trailers quite a while back. I remember specifically with Seasons having an announcement trailer, having a reveal trailer, and then a gameplay trailer. The reveal trailer for The Sims 4 Seasons released four years ago was a minute and 28 seconds. So even though that is short and this is longer here, it's most likely going to be a reveal trailer and we could even get another trailer later on, possibly a launch trailer or even a gameplay trailer. But share your predictions below on what you think is going to be revealed and announced on February 2nd. Simmers made really, really good observations from this picture. Whatever is coming with this expansion pack is probably going to release around the time that infants come because if you can see here, the female Sim is holding an infant. In and infants don't come until Tuesday, March 14th. Well, we normally get patches on Tuesdays, right? Yesterday was a Tuesday. We got a patch at 1 p.m. And pretty much most other patches have come on Tuesdays. So it makes sense that we're getting a free patch update on Tuesday, March 14th for the infants. And what do we get before an expansion pack? A patch. So I have a feeling that this expansion pack is either going to be released on Wednesday, the 15th, Thursday the 16th or Friday the 17th, but most likely 
leaning towards either Thursday or Friday, March 16th or 17th. I'll definitely say I think that's the best speculation that we've had so far this year because things have just been up in the air. We really haven't had much to go on. We've been doing a lot of reaching, but now that we're finally getting details, we're finally getting dates. That is one of the few things that actually is starting to make sense. So the expansion pack is likely coming around that time and they're probably going to really push infants with it. And if we really are getting generations or a family style expansion pack, it would only make sense to include infants a part of the free patch that follows with it. It's a brand new life stage, perfect for growing the family. In another video that I uploaded one to two days ago, we talked about the potential for horses and how the Sims team looks to be teasing horses in the comment section of their TikTok account. Well, that's not just it. Iron Seagull quotes the original tweet that I talked about in that video. Uh, don't tell me Sims is really hinting at generations and horses through freaking TikTok replies now. We have another screenshot of a user asking, is the generations pack coming soon? And the official Sims team responds with the eyes emoji being very very cryptic once again i mean with having all of these hints that we have so far and now them doing this on tiktok and of course you can see below them teasing the better babies or infants whatever you want to call them the hype is definitely increasing and even though i am excited for infants i don't mind waiting until march this is their chance to get it right do it correct the first time and not introduce a crap ton of bugs and issues into the game so let's give them all the time that they they need. They teased this towards the end of last year and these are coming in March. So if these launch with issues that I can understand why Simmers would be upset considering all the time that we waited. But I think that they really want to get this right, you guys. And I'm more than willing to let them have the extra time to make sure that they do. Since recording this video, it appears as though the name for the next expansion pack has leaked. It is likely to be called Growing Together. And at first I thought it was a little weird. I don't know why I just expected family living or a family lifestyle to go along with city living or cottage living or eco lifestyle, for example. But someone left a really good comment on my video discussing the leak in particular that honestly kind of changed my mindset and I want to read it. Super Halo 3639, huge shout out to them. They comment in quotes, growing together sounds like a milestones pack. That's technically what Generations was. It enhanced the ages lives. I know simmers often put packs that have to do with younger ages and older ages under a one in quotes family play umbrella, but that technically wasn't what Generations was. Parenthood focused on parenting and raising a family itself. Generations, however, was a cradle to grave experience pack for every sim's lives. Your sim technically didn't have to be in or a part of a family to experience the milestones for each age, which is absolutely true. The family play, however, just went with it nicely. So in that way, they're really going into the true theme of generations. And that just completely changes my thought on the name and the potential approach for this pack. I really don't think they'll ever be able to top The Sims 3 Generations just from past expansion packs for The Sims 4. Feeling like corners have been cut, things have been left out. I still feel like Sims 3 Seasons is better than Sims 4 Seasons and will always be better than Sims 4 Seasons. Same goes with Sims 3 Pets. I think it's definitely better than Cats and Dogs, at least in most aspects. That's just a personal opinion. You guys might think different and I don't think that's necessarily going to change here. But for what The Sims for is, I'm interested to see where they go with this because I think this is our generations. I've mentioned this before. I know we need new worlds, guys, but I would rather them honestly just leave out a new world so that they could really focus on giving us amazing gameplay. But we do know that new worlds are coming because they teased it during the Sim Summit live stream at the end of last year. We saw some concept pictures, so I'm assuming that one of those new worlds is probably associated with this expansion. Little Dicka shares on Twitter that it's seems like there is a female body frame top surgery scar, but for some reason it is hidden by default. This creator has made it show and also added a custom thumbnail to get a better idea of what it is. And you can download it right here, right now. Of course, links to everything that you will need pertaining to this video, because I will have multiple mod links for those of you on PC and Mac to improve what was added in yesterday's patch on my website, pixlay.org, link below. I see this as a good thing and a bad 
that thing because I'm all here for representation and for them giving us these sorts of things because we know we need it and they've mentioned adding it in the past but it definitely makes me a little bit disappointed and it's okay that I feel disappointed. Representation needs to be done correctly and I feel like they're dropping the ball with things especially this. I don't know why this is hidden in the game but there is now a mod slash custom content piece to make it not hidden. Available on sim file share. Many simmers talked about issues with the binder that came with the free patch update yesterday, issues with textures, them not fitting correctly, or just not functioning properly with other clothing assets. Well, leave it to the mod and custom content creators to fix the issue. Frosty Breakfast tweets, I removed the breast weight sliders and flattened out the femme frame binder and fixed the texture issue. Of course, a link to this is pinned below as well. So if you guys want to add this to your game, then you are more than welcome. And lastly, another talented mod creator tweets, one binders that actually bind can be worn with any outfit put on and off without taking a slot or visiting Kratosim. Oh, and breast forms and a lot more. They link to some fixes and then tweet EA maybe don't rush next time. This is definitely what I was referring to. I saw a lot of comments on my video from yesterday about the patch on how some of what they added isn't the best quality and I feel like this isn't the first time we've had issues with them cutting corners but great to see here that the modding community the custom content community continues to come through for us to fix these things and it does make me sad because they shouldn't have to do that they should never ever ever have to come to the rescue to fix representation that should be done correctly the first time again all links pinned in the comment section below what are your thoughts on yesterday's patch and of course the release date announcement for infants and the teaser coming for the expansion pack tomorrow i'm thinking about what i want to do for tomorrow if i want to go live react to the trailer and react to it with you guys together but i'll figure that out tomorrow share your thoughts on yesterday's patch and with everything we know about infants so far i will definitely have more content coming with infants because there's a lot now that we know especially from the deep dive that we got yesterday with behind the sims i love you guys so much download these fixes if you're on pc and mac take care and happy simming